Okay, it's Enox, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a way to make handrails and copings for like ledges and stuff. And uh, you might want to go to check my earlier tutorials for just some basic stuff. I might go a little bit faster on those or this one. But yeah, we are gonna start with the coping for ledges. I'm gonna show you two different methods. I mean, two different ways to do a coping. I'm gonna show you a coping that goes fully around the ledge, and then I'm gonna show you how to make it on one edge only. Okay, so we need to get ourselves a plane. Very good. There we go. So now that I scaled it on in a object mode, you want to press Ctrl A to apply rotation and scale. There we go. I'm just gonna pull this up a little, something like that. I don't hit that face. Um, then I'm gonna duplicate this for later purposes. Okay. So first I'm gonna. Uh, give you a I'm gonna show you how to make only this edge here I'm first gonna show you a way to make it a round so go to a object mode I'm gonna select this edge and this edge and I'm selecting the, them in edge selection mode which is up here or number two on keyboard then I'm gonna press shift D to duplicate it then just right click there we go I'm gonna separate them by pressing P and separate selection then I go to object mode I select these and then I go to object convert to curve Okay, so <coughs> this curve process is going to apply on the rail later, which I'm going to show you. Uh, but here, you go to this object data tab on the right. You want to change your fill mode to full. And then you're going to go to the geometry tab here and add some depth to the bevel that's good so as you see that it's really blocky right now I'm gonna add a resolution of 1 so it rounds it up a little bit yeah that is good that's enough for our coping on this grind box I'm going back to object object mode and I need to convert it back to mesh since since it is just a curve right now so object convert to mesh there we go then I'm gonna just select these and face them with F on keyboard like so I'm, I am actually going to move them down just a little bit. Uh, I want to have this is really blocky now, so I'm gonna go to object mode, press W, and shade mode. As you can see, it has this weird shading going on. So I want to go back to the object object data here, this triangle thing, and press auto smooth and this is the angle of the smoothing I'm gonna turn it up to 80 <coughs> so it smoothens everything under the angle of 80 degrees so this is a 90 so 
it's not gonna smooth this edge right there. Okay, that is done. We can now move to the other coping stuff. I'm just gonna delete that. So you got your. Actually, I'm not gonna need this ledge back there. Uh, yeah, you got your ledge ones here. I'm gonna now show you a way to add a coping here, like square coping. It's gonna be pretty easy. I'm gonna just add a loop cut through here with Ctrl R. Then I'm just gonna move it on this edge. And then loop cut on here, Ctrl R, and move it up. Then I'm gonna select all these faces with face selection tool or pressing 3 on the keyboard. There we go. And I'm gonna press P. Actually, I'm, I need to shift D. So I duplicate it and right click and then press P. Oh shit, I messed it up. <coughs> I'm just gonna quickly redo this. Yeah. So shift D, right click, and then P. So you got this here now. Go back to your ledge here. You need to select these in edge selection mode and by pressing Alt. To select the whole loop and alt shift to select this and then press control control x to dissolve those edges so we don't have any unwanted geometry here so go to the your coping here then we need to add some uh, add some weight to it or i guess make it 3d uh, so, you need to go to this modifier menu here, add modifier, and choose solidify. And then, all you need to do here is tick the even, th even thickness, there we go, and you need to then use the thickness slider just something really small so it just gets the a little bit of depth so after you you're done with that you can just click apply there we go we got a ledge with a coping so the next one I'm gonna show you the way to make it go around the whole thing It's really similar You need to add a loop cut here But then you need to get your face selection tool or number 3 on keyboard Select this and then press I to inset And do something like this And while you're in face selection mode you want to Alt select this to get the whole loop and Alt select this Once again Shift D to duplicate P to separate and Select all these edges and this loop and Control X There we go and Once again Add modifier Solidify Add some thickness Even thickness apply there you go so <clears throat> that was that for the coping stuff you can use those on quarter pipes and whatnot so uh, handrails shift a to add a plane rotate it on y axis by 90 there we go go to edit mode and move this edge up to one by one meter and select these edges, scale on y axis, 
scale of y axis there we go so this is going to be our rail here I'm gonna add some supports to it like that there we go with control R once again okay uh, we don't want these edges to be here and these faces we don't want any faces on this so I select these edges press X and edges I'm sorry edges I selected the edges uh, then we need to separate these supports here by selecting them and pressing P and se separate selection then we see we have yeah we th these are now two different objects we are gonna join them here in in a second we want to get rid of those so select those vertices and press ctrl x to dissolve them and now we can go back to object mode and select both of these and press w and join there we go uh, i'm gonna select this edge here shift d and z so i get this one so now i have two horizontal edges and all these vertical going um, so I'm gonna select all and then I'm gonna go up here to vertex and then I need to select bevel vertices so I get this result here up here you can see your segments I use usually like three or four nothing too fancy so the way you control your segments is by scrolling up or down on the scroll mouse so I'm gonna if you have some funky uh, funky looking stuff like this press M to change the mode of the bevel yes I'm gonna leave it at that then once again I'm gonna go to object convert to curve from mesh slash text and then the object data down here once again fill mode is gonna be full and we need to add some depth maybe like that and resolution of 1 so there we have our rail but it is still a curve as you can see here we can now manipulate it the way we want but I'm I just want to move it change it back to mesh so object convert to mesh there we go now it's a fully modifiable mesh you could do some leg stuff here with all of these uh, and if you want to have <coughs> an extrusion on all of these you want to select alt with alt shift and edge selection mode with all these supports and then going up here to pivot point to change medium point to individual origins so now I can I can scale or do whatever I want to do with each and individual leg so I'm gonna extrude and scale just something like that and extrude on the axis there we go next I'm gonna select this press W and shade smooth there we go but as you can see there is some there is too much moving here I'm gonna go back to the object data button and press auto smooth and set it to something like 80 degrees there we go that is pretty much it for this, this tutorial for this tutorial and <laughs> yes I hope you I hope you could pick it up but yeah have a good one